Hey peeps, welcome back to Hypo HO, speed tips and more for the average Joe. So this is going to be part two of the lifelike T chassis build, the down and dirty, make it fast on the cheap. And last night I left off with you guys, we went ahead, I showed you everything, how to glue the magnets in. And I let it sit overnight, and here's your end result. And you can see how nice that came out. Now what I also do is I'll take some of the super glue on a toothpick, put it on the toothpick, and I'll go around here like so with some super glue in here and I also go up in here so we're just making a little reinforcement out of super glue make sure that uh, the magnets are gonna stay alright so get that done and I also had showed you for whoever needs to do it um, how to remove this pickup holder slash spring assembly. Um, I already went and put this one back in. It's a simple matter. It's just reverse the procedure. And the only reason you're going to need to do that is if you need to replace this if it breaks or you want to pull the motor out and um, do some more mods on this. But we're going to assume that you're doing the down and dirty, dirty mod here cheap easy so you're working with a new car no need to do that but I'm gonna continue on that piece just slides right in and then right there there's a little nib there's the hole and we're gonna go ahead and just click that on so you see that that's all there is to it and then you just need to pull the motor contact out make sure these two touch take your soldering iron and put a little dab of solder on there and you're good to go so I'm gonna show you how I do that real quick and then we'll come back and continue the build okay peeps you're gonna want to have your soldering iron heated up and you want to do what's called tinning the tip so you're gonna take a little bit of solder and you're gonna pop it on there and then you're gonna throw it off like so and that's called tinning the tip now this solder is a little thick I'm pretty experienced at soldering um, they do make thinner solder might be easier for you first timers and you may want to practice again on some scrap pieces of copper whatever but uh, th this is a very simple thing so we're just gonna like I showed you tin it I'm going to put a little bit of solder there. That's it. Done. That's all it takes. And you just obviously want to make sure that the motor contact is touching that little pickup shoe holder slash spring. All right. I'm going to head back to the board and we'll continue with the build. Okay, guys. So we have that all taken care of. And i um, just going to do a little test here good to go all right so the next thing if you notice on the axle there's a bunch of play and what can happen over time you'll end up stripping the gears so we need to address that little bit of play and what I do is pop a little washer right there now what I'm using these are actually if you go online and look nylon split washers and these were originally for VCRs um, what they have is a little cut so you don't even need a wheel puller or anything uh, if you're building up one of these cars don't even need to pull this wheel off the split washer will allow you to put it onto the axle without pulling the wheel off and usually I think these are about 010 or 012 usually one washer will work so we've got the one washer there and you can see perfect 
Now I also went ahead, um, put a set of gel claws on here. They're a touch lower, um, but I'm running Tomy AFX track. Uh, if you're running track with a little, uh, little higher rail or whatever, just use the stock wheels. So you have options there if you want to play around with wheels, whatever. Um, my track, usually the gel claws work real nice. Um, I've used other types of wheels. You saw the other one had the uh, Dayglow tires on there. So, you know, that's up to you. But again, we just want to keep this on the cheap. And uh, so front and rear gel claws will work 99% of the time. And the last thing that we're going to do is I go ahead and on the pickup shoe, I file this down to about here. So this is a stock shoe. You just need a little jeweler's file like so. This one's already been done. Let's see if I can pop that there. You'll see the difference. So you see the difference? It just gives you more travel. I'm gonna let the car sit down uh, to the full maximum. Now one other thing that I also do, um, the guide pin, you can pull this down just a little bit. Uh, obviously whatever track you want, you're running, you're going to want to check, make sure it's not running in the bottom, but you can pull this down a little bit uh, with no issues. So basically all that's left, I'm going to go ahead and finish this shoe up and get that on the car. So the, all that's really left is just, you know, to decide what kind of body you want to run. And I recommend that you run a Lexan body. And when I was originally doing these cars, uh, there were no options. Uh, now you can get a clip-on body from HC Slots. They have these bodies that have the holders already molded in. And they just clip right on. And you pop a little bit of tape over here and you got a nice lightweight body that's three bucks for the body you know like I said this is a uh, seven dollars eight bucks in parts whatever it is it's on the cheap and a uh, lot a lot of bang for the buck all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get this shoe on and then we're gonna go ahead and run this car and see what we have all right be back in a minute all right let's see what we have here Pretty darn nice for a $20 car. Okay guys, there you have it. Down and dirty. Lifelike T chassis. Lots of fun. Doesn't take much. You have all the tips now. Everything I showed you. And um, just a couple little things. When you're doing your soldering, if you're doing any of that, you want to use rosin core. Um, figured also if you don't want to use the HC slots body there are options um, you can get regular Lexan but you're going to need to make yourself a set of body holders here and quite simply I've done it a couple of different ways um, over here these are just little pieces of balsa wood um, tack glued and then you can use actual body pins right into the balsa wood. Um, this would probably be the easiest for most of you guys because we want to keep it down and dirty and cheap. It's just some hard foam. And then you're going to use some of this tape here. This is a double-sided tape. Uh, they actually use this in the body shops. It's made by Tessa. And it's used for putting emblems on. This stuff works fantastic. 
that's what it looks like really really sticky stuff um, that's how I did this one so if you don't want to use this body and you want to use a different type of body that's how you do it cut yourself a couple of slabs of foam put the tape there put the tape there and uh, good to go so there's the lifelike T chassis great car to build up you can have a lot of fun with it on the cheap uh, there's even more speed more potential on this car if you really want to play around you can play around with some gearing you can go down to uh, 24 tooth dependent upon your track you can also pull off the end bell here uh, you can tweak the brush holders a lot more speed to be had out of this but I think that the way that this is right here for the average Joe and average guy just wants to have a blast and have a car that's going to stick on the track and be fast build up a couple have your buddies over and uh, you're all going to be pretty evenly matched and it's going to be a game of driving skill all right guys so hope you enjoyed my videos and uh, down the road I'm probably going to build up one of these and uh, just haven't figured out we're going to uh, probably have some sort of uh, mail-in or something uh, to give away one of these cars and um, We'll see. I just haven't figured that out yet. But lots of more good stuff to come. Guys, have a good evening. Peace out. Get busy on your T-chassis. You're going to have a lot of fun with this. You're going to thank me. All right, guys.